broadcasting from Victor's Kuwait. This is the Me and Larry reality video show, LTL, editorial news for March 6, 2010. Headlines, and I'm leaving it up to the viewers. You're going to get some participation on these video segments. Now, tomorrow, March 7th, the one that you are waiting for. Well, I'll leave that to later. But the one you are waiting for is in Iraq. The Iraqi election. Yes, uh, of course, that most of the people who is outside Iraq are really voicing their opinion more than the people who is inside Iraq. Well, you wonder why, especially when bombings going on and killings and shooting. Had to have the army to and the police to seize some of the weapons that um, the insurgents had. So many uh, bullets and bombs that they found. But the biggest story for LTL to address to the viewers is who should run Iraq? Who should run Iraq? You know, in like the United States, you have the, you know, the Democrats and the Republicans and the independents. But most of the times it's either going to be either the Democrats, which they are running it right now for the Senate, or the Republicans, which back in the uh, days they was running things. So I put it in your hands. Who should run it? The Shiites who is really in connection with Iran. They, they kind of like neighbors. I just saw a news story with one of the uh, guys who owns a bakery in Iran. His home country is Iraq. And of course, he's a Shiite. Sunni, well, United States was in tight with the Sunnis back in the days with Saddam Hussein and the United States was in tight with them. But now, since uh, Saddam Hussein was taken care of, now it's in the hands of two groups or maybe three. The Kurds, they really are trained by the U.S. forces to protect their own turf. And they, they tough. They tough. But they like independence in America. So the key question is, who should run Iraq? So it's up to the Iraqi viewers to watch it, maybe try to interpret my language in Arabic, you know, sway sway, you know, Arabic and sway sway. Hmm? So we put it in your hands, and when you vote tomorrow, because at least you are like America, you got an absentee voting. You can vote from Iran, UK, even though they had problems. The Kurds was having problems up there trying to vote, but they was able to do it, even though the consequences was eight people was arrested. Well, eight guys, there is, of um, Kurds that was arrested. And you have others in Syria and Jordan who lives over there, they can vote. So, it's in your hand. And LTL, editorial news 
We'll be right back. <laughs> 